What's going on, everybody? Back at it with another New York Giants video. And in this video, I want to talk about the latest addition to Big Blue days ahead of the NFL draft. So this transaction will carry some weight um, into my thought process as to what the Giants might do in the draft. But before I get into this addition, folks, if you're new to the channel, make sure to check us out on all of our social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Big Blue Avenue where you can find all of our exclusive, up-to-date New York football Giants content. And, of course, we have to plug in our excellent sponsor, BetUS. You can sign up with their promo code below at JOIN125. Get a 125% sign-up bonus where you can bet on the go, anywhere, anytime. That's BetUS, where the game begins. So let's get into the signing. The Giants added beef up front in former Rams and Lions defensive tackle, Sean Robinson, to a one-year deal. Uh, worth up to $8 million. Now, Robinson visited the Giants about a month or so ago, and it was kind of a feeling out process. You know, he's recovering from an injury he suffered in season, and it, what, they wanted to get all his medicals squared away before they made a move of any sort, um, and I'm happy the Giants brought him. Sometimes these signings take some time. It was the same situation with J.C. Hassenauer. No injury involved there, but it took a couple weeks to get a deal done, right? It's a negotiation process, and that's what this league is from a business perspective. Uh, but Robinson is a veteran. He's a second-round pick back in 2016. Uh, Alabama guy, selected by the Detroit Lions. He played his first four seasons with Detroit, spent the last three seasons with the L.A. Rams where he did get a ring. Um, in the 2021 season. Big dude, 6'4", 330 pounds, still just 28 years old despite entering his eighth year in the league. Uh, this is a depth run-stuffing signing. This guy is a pure run-stuffer like Rocking Nunez Roches. There's a lot of depth now on this defensive line. You know, you have Dexter Lawrence, who's going to be playing on the fifth-year option this upcoming season, but hopefully they get a deal done. Um, again, he probably wants a contract extension before he comes back. So Dexter will be with the team long-term. Leonard Williams has just one year left on his deal. He's taken up a significant amount of the salary cap. We don't know what the future is for Big Cat. Um, also, Rakim Nunez Roches was signed to a three-year deal. And they have DJ Davidson, who is coming off a uh, torn ACL or torn Achilles, one of those two, from his rookie season out of Arizona State. You don't know how he's going to recover in his second season with the team. So Ashawn Robinson is an excellent signing. And it uh, sort of eliminates the need that the Giants absolutely have to get an interior defensive lineman in the draft. Now I don't think it's that necessary. I know they brought in Gervin Dexter, defensive tackle out of Florida, for a top 30 visit. But before this signing today, I was leaning towards grabbing a DT in round two or round three, contrary to some, people, to some people's beliefs. Um, knowing that the Giants also brought in Brian Breesey for a top 30 visit uh, the DT out of Clemson but this changes the whole dynamic it creates more draft flexibility Joe Shane is a genius once again uh, Robinson had 42 tackles in 10 games last year he was on the field for 359 defensive snaps uh, limited array of pass rushing moves he's not a pass rusher whatsoever he can get to the quarterback though he does have seven career sacks averaging one per season essentially um, yeah, I mean, the Giants are clearly looking to resolve their run defense. You look at other rosters in the NFC East, right? You look at the Philadelphia Eagles, an outstanding offensive front. Uh, I know they lost Miles Sanders, but they might replace him with a rookie. There's rumors they might trade for Derrick Henry. We know their rush offense is very, very good. Uh, Dallas, yes, they let Zeke go, but they still have Tony Pollard. And who knows? Maybe they select B. John Robinson in the draft. I'm not so sure. I mean, the kid is from Texas, so... It'll be interesting to see what happens there. He has 20 tackles for loss in his career with 20 quarterback hits, 61 career starts in 93 games. And now we're looking at the top five for the Giants D-line heading into 2023. And it's Dexter Lawrence, Leonard Williams, Rakim Nunez Rochez, Ashawn Robinson, and DJ Davidson. Solid addition up front for Big Blue. Uh, I no longer think the Giants will be taking a defensive tackle in day two of the NFL draft. I think the Giants will address more of a premium position in those rounds. But yeah, I think it's very important to have a Sean on this team. I'm happy it's finally done. It took a month or so, but Hey, deals take time and I'm happy Robinson will be suiting up in big blue in 2023 folks. Another friendly neighborhood reminder, check us out on all of our social media for more videos like these and NFL draft prospect film reviews on big blue Avenue, YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram and Twitter with live up to date breaking news.
folks, appreciate you all as always. And without further ado, let's go Big Blue.